Men and um, still on the topic of WooCommerce, I'll be talking about the new WooCommerce admin. And so this is me. And if you want to get in touch, this is my email address, my Twitter handle. And if you are interested in development stuff, you can read my blog. <laughs> so um, just a show of hands, has anyone not heard of WooCommerce before? Just to, be, just to make sure everyone is on the same page. Okay, so since everyone here is, uh, or at least has heard of WooCommerce before, has anyone actually used the uh, reports in WooCommerce? The native reports? Or do you, do you even know it exists? So yeah, I myself, I don't really use it because um, I think it's, um, the common consensus is that it's not very useful. It, it lacks a lot of our metrics and important data. So even though it's in the dashboard, it's in the admin, when people, when store owners go inside, they don't really see the information they want. So what people usually do is they install um, third-party plugins, uh, other plugins that gives you more comprehensive data. But then again, you know, when you have more plugins, it, a lot of conflicts here and there, especially when you do an, up, do an update. So WooCommerce actually I think back in, at the end of 2018, they came up with the alpha version of the new WooCommerce admin. So, so for those who haven't seen the, the default um, reports, it, lo it looks something like this. This is um, where you can view your orders, your store orders. And then there's this, um, uh, so that over here you can see your orders and then you can you can categorize it by, you can view, change the view to sales by product, sales by category, coupons by date, customer downloads, and you can also filter according to um, the date. And you can also choose to view by customers. So um, how many customers or the list of customers that actually purchase from your, sh from your store. And the last one is um, stock. So you can see, you can have an overview of the, the stock quantity in your the product quantity in your store. So by default, it only comes with these three uh, reports, which to me, it's not, um, it's not enough and it's, it doesn't really tell much, especially when you're, when you're, especially when you're comparing it with um, other platforms like Shopify, where they actually provide a whole, a better um, experience, user experience for the shop owners when it comes to um, analytics and store data. So, like what I mentioned, this is the customer's um, view. You can view it. This, all, all these are the customers that has purchased something before in your, in your store. Doesn't really, to me, I, I feel like the UI isn't really there yet. It doesn't really, it, it looks like the default um, users management page in WordPress with a bit of, um, with some new actions for you to view the customer profile. So it's not really that intuitive in my, in my opinion. And this is the stock page. So you can have an overview of the products, um, low, products that are low in stock, products that are out of stock, and your most stock uh, products. So over here, you cannot really do much. It's only showing you the information. If you want to restock the product, for example, you have to actually go into the individual product page. So that's additional step. So like what I mentioned, it lacks important data, or at least useful information for store owners to to, uh, to, to, to make, a, make an improvement to their, to their shop. So the features are pretty basic. It doesn't allow you to, for example, you cannot um, filter by customers that has purchased more than $500. You cannot, put, you cannot filter based on um, which product is the most popular, that kind of thing. And the, the UI is very slow and clunky. When you want to, you have to click and then you have to load another page. And then when you want to go back to the same page, to the previous page, you have to do another reload again. And it's probably not obvious enough because I think some of you haven't, hasn't even heard of it before. So you actually have to, it's hidden inside the main WooCommerce uh, admin menu item. So at the end of the talk, I will, I will do a run through of um, the default reports and then I'll show you the, the demo of uh, the new admin. Okay, so this is probably how a store owner feels after looking through the native um, reports. Not very helpful. Okay, so um, back in 2018, like what I mentioned, um, end of 2018, the team 
came up with this new uh, WooCommerce dashboard. So the idea is to focus on providing a, one, a single st uh, place, a dashboard for every for store owners to view all the important data. So um, apart from all the new reports that they added in, they actually improved the existing one as well. And they included more important um, data and useful information for, um, for the store owners to, for them to make informed decisions. So right now, there are nine reports available. So the highlighted ones are the new ones. You get to see your overall revenue, your products, the categories, which categories is performing um, better than the others, coupons, the coupon codes, and downloads. And this is how the dashboard looks like. So as you can see, it shows you a lot more information and a lot nicer as well, in my opinion, um, as compared to, the, to what they have right now. So you can view the sales, you can view uh, items sold, you can view uh, which, um, which product is uh, the top products in your store. And also you can customize each dashboard according to your preference. So you can choose to turn off whatever information that is not relevant. And you can also choose to rename each section. So the idea behind this is that the WooCommerce team believes that um, no two stores are the same. So they, they allow us that ability to hide um, things that are not relevant. So if your store, are not, if your store is not dealing with um, downloads, digital downloads, or if your store don't have any text, so it doesn't make any sense to display it, so you can choose to hide it. And you can also choose to change the position of the sections. And this is the revenue report. Um, let's see. So basically, it's, an, it's a quick overview of um, your revenue, your 